Welcome back, everyone. Let me take you to a dose state where the crisis rocking the APC in that state does not appear to be abating at all. On Friday, what would have been a bloody showdown was perhaps aborted. Despite the ban on political rallies, a crowd of supporters of the former People's Democratic Party candidate in the state, Mr. Osage Izeyamu, assembled in Benin City for his formal def defection to the APC. Mr. Izeyamu was received by the former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Dr. Paz Odubu, who represented the All Progressives Congress National Chairman, Mr. Adam Soshomale, at his residence in the state capital. In the lead-up to the rally, suspected thugs lit bonfires on the roads leading Izeyamu's affections rally at his residence in Ubo, GRA Benin City. The Inspector General of Police had suspended the rally yesterday, uh, well, on Thursday, that's when it was suspended, owing to security concerns, why the Edo State government also issued a ban on all political activities in the state to further notice. Edo State government also issued what it calls a complete ban on polit public rallies across the state. This is coming barely 24 hours after a protest by some groups against proposed political rally in the state's capital, Benin City. Well, let's get to the conversation, shall we? I have joining me tonight Mr. Don Pedro Obaseki, a former governorship candidate in Edo State. He, he has aligned himself with the governor, Godwin Obaseki. And from Abuja, Sido is Honorable Samson Osage, a former member of the House of Representatives, is an ally of uh, the national chairman of the APC, Adam Soshomile. Thank you so much, uh, gentlemen, for coming on tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Perhaps, let me begin with you, Mr. Obaseki. Why is he a jitter or is he an apprehension on, the, on your own side now of the coming of uh, Mr. Ize Iyamu? Because that is the filler we are getting from the other side. That is the Adams Oshomale side of the divide that there seems to be some jitter in your camp about whom they call Pastor Osage Izeyamu? Um, I think um, Jitter. I think that is a, a word that shouldn't even exist in this whole arithmetic. Number one, I think the other side, as you said, the other side, actually have been economical with the truth. You know, they are playing a lot with, 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 with unnecessary political propaganda. The APC has a ground norm, a constitution, of which the national chairman as the principal protagonist, should hold and, 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 and hold to the letter. The APC does not allow you to become a member at the top. That is how the constitution is structured. So if I am going to join the APC, I join the APC at my word. So what those of us were saying is very simple. We all we, to say that the, the the political temperature in the state is is being very high hyper is is, is stating is a, is a statement of fact. So so as not to take that out of cosmic balance, it's very simple. Go to your ward. Mr. Osage Izeyamu is from the Ugu ward in Orion or local government area of Edo State. Has he done that? He did not do that. Are you are you sure? I am very very sure. That was the end. I am not very far from Osage Izeyamu. I was more or less like the director of his own campaign. So I know Osage. I know all the principal players. Well, I know the man you I mean, okay, so, so, let, 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 you, you, you have touched on something very yes, interesting. Very simple. You, you collapsed your campaign yes. and your structure for yes. Osage Izeyamu. In, in 2016, yes. The governor is your cousin. Yes. From what we understand. Osage I don't know is also I, my cousin. He's my maternal cousin. So uh, uh, the governor, Godwin Obaseki, is your yes. paternal cousin. He's my... He's my because he's my direct first cousin. My father's, his father and my father are brothers. So you jumped beats now because you were with uh, Osage Ezeyamu. Mm -hmm. Now you are now with uh, Godwin Obaseke. Because you, you were opposed to him okay. during the election. I wasn't opposed to him. This should be clear. I was opposed to the modus operandi of Mr. Adam Soshomole. I was, a, I was a running on the, on the APC card. I was opposed to Adams. Just the way Osage was opposed to Adams. And Adams drove Osage out of the party. I was opposed to Adams Ali Oshomole. And I'm still opposed oh. to Adams Ali Oshomole today. Why? Because you cannot play chichidodo. You cannot eat the... Ma you cannot hate shit. Pardon my French. And then eat the maggot from shit. Everything that has to do with property, due process, is anathema and antithetical 
to what Mr. Adam Soshomole stands for. He is someone who has turned following due process into brinkandage. So, but you, you said today, let know, it did not, apologies, yes, sorry, yes. you said it did not follow due process in the case of Mr. Godwin Obaseki. No, I said in, for my case, I was against him. I was the victim. So why did you, uh, why did you not align yourself with Godwin Obaseki in 2000? Because he was not the governor. 16. Don't you get it? No, I'm was saying the you collapsed your... No, Godwin no, Obaseki where? was your first... She, is your she, first cousin. Except you want to turn this into a me. I'm no, no, not, no, no. I'm not, I'm not a principal okay, here. Okay, so, I mean, I you are raising... A, a, apologies, yes. apologies. Yes. This is not about me. I'm a journalist. Yes. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm not too I'm, far from being a journalist. No, no, too. you're a politician in this sense. Okay. I, I, I'm not in the ring with you. Yes. I mean, you are in the ring yes. a, alongside your allies and your friends. Yes. And the question I'm asking is yes. that because you have brought the issue of morality, yes. and that's why I brought it uh, onto the table, yeah. that's formerly you were on one side. Yeah. Now you are seen to be on the other side. Yes. So that's the question I'm because bringing to the, the table. Because the real reason is reason. This. No, you see, I am not crazy about the appellation APCPDP. I'm crazy about the appellation EDO. And today, as I sit here, I will tell you, without missing words, that what Mr. Godwin Obaseki has done in the last three years is almost a cabodo representation of what I want to, what I want to, what I would have done. So on the basis of ideology, on the basis of principle, on the basis of what the man has churned out in the last three years, it will be crazy. It will be on, not even unethical, it will be lying to myself if I don't follow the path that I know is righteous. And that is the path. Today, as I sit here, I will tell you without missing words that Godwin, Norerase, Obaseki, totally, represents what I would have done if I was given the opportunity to serve those two that is a Just a moment. Now. Let's hear from uh, Honorable uh, Samson Osage. Uh, Honorable, uh, you heard what Mr. Don Pedro says. Uh, Edo State is, is very big, but I understand that there is one way or the other uh, there, people are related to each other. I won't be surprised if you're related to uh, Mr. Pe uh, Mr. Obaseki here. Yeah. But give us an understanding from the perspective of your own divide, what you think is happening. He said he has a problem with Mr. Adam Soshomale, whom he has said is a problem. What exactly is the problem? Well, thank you, Sheun uh, Okimbaloye. Uh, I, I want to... I want to thank uh, Don Pedro Obaseki. Uh, he's a man I respect for his intellectual and academic achievements. I haven't attained so much, uh, barely at the age of 23. But I am shocked that this is an APC matter. It is an internal crisis for the All Progressive Congress in Edo State. And as of the last time I checked, Don Pedro Obaseki is not a member of the APC family. So I wonder how he come to now understand the house in which he's not a resident or in which, in which he does not have, uh, inhabit. Except, of course, he's speaking for his cousin, who he told us in 2016 that the APC will regret bringing him aboard as their flag bearer in 2016. Perhaps today he's speaking because he has just been appointed a consultant on the Edo Broadcasting Service. We expect him to do much to revamp that that sector. But let me make it clear from the get-go that the challenge of the APC today with Governor Godwin and Baseki is one of unbridled arrogance of the government, one of intolerance of opposing view by the governor himself, and the lack of application of emotional intelligence to governance. And when these three factors are combined, there is no way leadership can survive in driving good governance and development in any community or in any society. Now, as we speak today, the governor has not organized any reception for a member of uh, the opposition party in Edo State. In other words, he has not added one additional member to the APC since 2016 that he became governor. And this is the first time in the history of our politics that the sitting governor will be resistant to the defection of strong party members on the opposition. And it, it, is, it, it is symptomatic of the governor's attitude of not wanting people to come and work with him or to even join the party. 
in which he expects to run for a second term in office. So as far as I'm concerned, Don Pedro Baseki do not understand the issues. He speaks from the point of view of sentiments. He actually prophesied in 2016 that the APC would regret feeding of Baseki. But I'm shocked today that the Oshomole he's opposed to is the one that laid the foundation that has thrown up Godunob Baseki in Edo politics. Uh, uh, Mr. Osage, uh, uh, Honorable Osage, let me, let me if, I, if I may butt in apologies so that we, we can clear some things. Mr. Obaseki here said, Ms. because one of the issues on the table is the defection of Mr. Osage Eze Yamu to the APC. I want to ask you, yes, since yes. you are privy and you're a member of the APC, did Mr. Eze uh, uh, Yamu join the party from the world level? He has done that. I mean, I, I'm surprised that Don Pedro will undermine, underrate uh, the capacity of Osage Zeyamu to understand what he ought to do and understand what the Constitution says. Pastor Zeyamu is duly registered at his ward in Uboko ward in Oriyama. He's a registered member of the party. So okay, so I, let me follow know, up. Let me follow up and ask you yet another one. Has not been done. Another question begging for answer now is. There is a contention, which I guess is one of the issues here, because the deputy governor has come to say you cannot bring anybody to the party without informing the leader of the party. Between Godwin Obaseki let me, let and Adams Oshomole in Edo State, who is the leader of APC in Edo State? Then, then I want I want to ask the question this way: in the party constitution in the party constitution of APC, or indeed any other political party. The question of who is the leader of a party is a ceremonial one. It has no constitutional foundation. As we speak today, Adam Soshomole is the constitutional head of the APC in Nigeria. The state chairman and the world chairman and the local government chairman in various states are their constitutional head of the party at their various level. So the governor, being said to be the leader of the party are mere, are mere ceremonial titles. Okay, they so, do not I mean, you, you have laid it, and, no and, and I probably would have asked you if you were the governor of Edo State, and there it would be, if, assuming you are the ceremonial head of a party, if you were the governor, put yourself in that position, and uh, let me ask you, because these are some of the issues read by the deputy governor, would you be happy if... There is a new member, I am not privy to that information. If I were, if I were the governor of Edo State as we speak, it, since, since the conclusion of the election tribunal matter between me and Osageze Yamu that contested against God Nobaseki, I would have been the first person to reach out to him to come and work with me in the party. I would even wait for him to do it so that I can bring him on board to join me in the party so that we can together work together for the party. So in this case, not having made any effort to bring people on board, and others have made the effort to convince other people to come on board. And then he has been informed, even by the person seeking to come and join you to work, that he is interested in coming to join you. You cannot deny him his right of association guaranteed by the Constitution. All right. Uh, so you uh, are aware that there are evidence Sagi, that the governor saw that this is a young man. Let's bring, let's bring a third party speak, into this. To and and have audience with the governor. Yeah, yeah. There is, uh, my colleague in Edo State had a sit down with the cham national chairman of the APC. He has bared his mind on some of the things that happened. This interview held just on Friday, immediately after what happened. I wanted to watch uh, some excerpts of that interview. Take a listen. That this issue of the word to deny him ticket has been, he, he, he is the one who has been saying it. The word so called their body treatment was, it emanated from him and his uh, uh, colleagues, was Pastor with us that time. So, Pastor has gone to PDP and tried his luck. He fought really hard, but he couldn't get it. And he just decided, look, let me be realistic. Let me return back to APC. It's not now or never. There is no agreement with anybody, including Pastor. So is it new to your knowledge of politics 
and politicking for people first as a party to go and identify people who we know we started this business together to come to us. Or they recognize it that they made a mistake by leaving and they decide to return. Is it only a deal that this has happened? If it happened in, a, in a Lagos, even with the accl I mean, the acknowledged influence of uh, Asiwaju, he didn't say, go to hell. After all, we have been defeating you and he welcoming you. Why should it be a problem in Edo? So because of TK, we should leave the house dry. We should not bring in new flesh, new energy, because the governor doesn't want anybody. Now, you have 24 members of the House of Assembly. Only five were ready to do your business. That should cause you to rethink. But again, rather than revise, they tell him, crush. His weak point is his deputy. You bring people to your house, somebody shot Nika, you put them in a bus, I say go to the House of Assembly, and at night at the PDM, they purport to elect speaker. And last week, they said they declared 40 seats vacant. My doors are open. If you want to close your doors in politics, you can't open them on election day. And there are a few other things that I need to talk about. But basically, all I've told the governor, and I will repeat it even here now to you, channel, channel this to him that there is no any other alternative to peace and holding on to governance than reconciling with everybody. And the way to do that includes having an all-inclusive meeting of both those who are happy and those who are unhappy and talk peace. When human beings have fought you, even when you say you are forgiving them, they say have a feeling, you take a minute, he may never forgive me. So I have a duty to take affirmative steps to show him that I have truly forgiven. And when I do that, people say, you see, look at that man who fought him. Look at what he had done. We who are loyal, I did do anything. No, I appreciate loyalty. But I also need to reassure those who have offended me that forgiveness has only one meaning, total, particularly in the business of politics. Mr. Obaseki, you heard uh, the national chairman. Yes. What are your thoughts on what he said? That, in fact, I think I'm happy that the national chairman is singing this now. It's like a knock, it's a knock Dimitri's colloquy. In all my appearances on, on, the, uh, on, on, the, on the media space in the last five months, I've been begging for rapprochement, for all of them to come and sit together and talk this over. Because this is a house and in, in a house, even in among family, husband and wife, there will be fisticuffs. So I, personally, there is, if you go on, on air, anywhere... Why I, is it difficult for this issue to be resolved? I, these are two friends. No, these, not just I mean, two, these, are, these are not just two friends. They are almost like Siamese at, at a point in time. So what caused the fight, do you know? No, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not privy to that. But I will say one thing. You see, it's like a, a badly scripted melodrama. Hubris, tragic pride. From all sides now? From all sides. From all sides. You know, the grandstanding at the beginning? You know, you see, you have to also look into the history of a Doe state as a state. We are not a particularly Doe side people. But I think where the whole thing started was that the modus operandi of both the governor and the former governor, the Combre, we're almost antithetical in the way they approach issues. Particularly, the first thing was less than a month after the, after he came into office was the issue of the Agberos, who were made leaders. All right, that let, was a major issue. Sorry, let me, I, let, I wanted to let, quickly just let me, let rebuke me. Mr. Mr. Uh, you will do uh, that uh, because Osage. we need to take uh, some messages. Okay. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we will return and talk about the political calculations of Osage is a Yamu defection to the APC in a state and some of the tension it has caused for the party. What is the way out? Join us again, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. We are talking about the politics of a state. In another few months, the people of the state will go and elect a governor. And so there's been a lot of issues in the ruling party in the state. Don't forget, APC is not only a ruling party in Edo State, it is a ruling party in Nigeria. The national chairman of the APC is from Edo State. Now, where is the problem coming from? They say, 
the crisis is internal and how will the party be able to resolve this? There's one man that has come into the equation that in fact intensified the crisis. That's uh, Mr. Osage Izeyamo. My guest tonight, Mr. Don Pedro Obaseki, who has been speaking uh, for the side which he belongs, that's the Godwin Obaseki, the governor's side, and the Honorable Samson Osage from Abuja Studio is an ally of uh, Mr. Adams Oshomale and a friend to him. So let's get back to the conversation now. I said I was going to come back to you, yes. Mr. Obaseki. Yes. You, you were going to say that the problem is on both sides. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, the problem of rapprochement is on both sides. That it is not, uh, I mean, the, yes, because there's no this, common ground. The, yes. And once once that was, I, I keep blaming Mr. Shomole. The reason is simple. I am a traditional Bene man. When there is a fight in my house, I will call my kids together and I will find common grounds. Not when there is a fight in my house, and ab I am being seen as the Koje leader, as the Claron leader, as the chief marshal of one side. That was just how it all started. So the other, you saw that I've video. I've had interviews yes. with, with Mr. Adam Sushomi, yes. who has said yes. two or three governors of the APC had in, intervened in this matter. Yeah. But he is blaming the governor for not shifting grounds. That is not correct. If I am aware in all this, I've been with the governor. I've been with the governor with a few other governors. And I know exactly what went down. But I'm not privy to say some of them in the public domain. I think the way Mr. Shomole in the last few months, a few weeks, is positioning himself, is actually positioning himself so as to begin to alter public opinion. On ground in Edo State, the facts are clear. And the fact that right now, I think Mr. Adamso Shomole has come to terms with the fact that there's a new sheriff in town. And the new sheriff in town is Godin Obasaki. Because, I mean, now, the, it brings to the fore yes. the fact that he's a predecessor. Yes. And there's a successor. Yes. And the accusation on the other side is yes. that the governor is biting the finger which fed him. No. Did you watch the, the, the video that came out the first time the governor screamed out? The governor screamed out after suffocating suffocating circumstances. We are all aware that Edo State, during the last primary, had the primaries canceled twice. And we are all aware that the persons that were put on the paper did not even run the primaries. Some of them were even changed by the courts. Like the one for Oredo East constituency, it was changed by the court. Because there is let a, me quickly no, don't, let, don't, be, no, let me, don't be offended. Yeah, because, because of the time yes. we, we don't have the time to background uh, a lot of these issues. Yes, yes. Because one of the issues that Mr. Jamali we also raise is the yes. fact that there is a crisis in the Edo State House of Assembly. Yes. and he will say that more of the members are on his own side. Um, why should they be on his side? Don't you get what I'm saying? Why should the national chairman of the party have persons on his side? when everybody should be on one side. Let's be frank. From the beginning, from what you've just said now, he has, from what he even said when he was talking, he said some of them are on his side. Five or ten or so, depending on how they see the number, are on the governor's side. And you are meant to be the father of all. So He's older than all of them. Let's bring this I home, think Mr. Before, Obasek, yes, yes, Let's yes, bring this home. Yes. Do you think the so-called ambulatory treatment we'll it cannot to... happen none of them have the capacity to do that in a do state i can state that clearly you i'm think... saying that as a as a, a son of benin as someone who caught his novel his umbilical court in that town in that state there is no there's nothing like that in because my state because the coming of mr isayamu osage isayamu's supposed defection that is a serial matter the supposed defection will not going forward Alter the political arithmetic of the state. You, I, will, do you I, see think, Mr. I think. I think you it see is Mr. actually overhyped. Really? Yes. You see, Mr. Obaseki yes. leaving the APC? Not at all. You don't leave your home. Let, let me go back to our Abuja studio with uh, Honorable uh, Osage. Honorable Osage, give us an understanding on where this is going. He's pointing the accusing finger to your principal, your friend, uh, the, uh, the national chairman of the party, that if this crisis will end, it has to be with the national chairman, is it to be blamed? Well, let me, let me make the point clear that the, cri the crisis 
did not emanate as a result of irreconcilable differences between Comrade Adam Sushumole and Governor Godwin Obaseki. Far from it. You know, the governor's camp have, the governor has pinned the entire story to give the impression that the national chairman was the one fighting him. When, in fact, he, the governor, has been the one pursuing notable members of the APC, you know, everywhere and doesn't want to work with them and doesn't want them in the party. I can say authoritatively that he's told some people that he doesn't want to see them in the politics of the state. Leaders of his own party who have contributed immensely to the development of this party before he became governor. Now, it is actually not a problem between him and the, and the, the national chairman. Yeah, but, but sorry, sorry that I will butt in, uh, because you raised this matter, because Excuse what, me, sorry, Can apologies, just, um, just hold on, because you raised this matter, the governor has said at some point that the reason why he fell out with some of these people is because he refused to share the money of Edo State with some of the leaders uh, that are antagonizing now, him. Now, far, far from it, if, if you want me to speak, Far from it. If you see the, 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 if you see the caliber of persons we are talking about across the state, these are not hungry people. They are not people looking for essays or SSAs. I have told you that the only offense or the offenses that National Chairman has committed in this whole fatal is that he did not, he did not support Governor Baseki to retire the entire political class in APC because that was part of his agenda. Then he did not allow him to make sure that he decimates the party, even those who have worked out for the party, that he sent them out. He did not allow the governor to close his political space. And what the governor is doing is to close the political space within the party and across party lines in Edo State so that no other issue or no other person will be discussed other than him. It has led him to totalitarianism and authoritarianism in the state. He doesn't want any other person to hold political meetings or political rallies. So as far as this issue is concerned, it is actually not between him and the national chairman. It is between him and a number of people, a number of party leaders, a number of party, party members across the state. We are too sophisticated in Edo State for one governor to close his political space and say he doesn't want any other person. Talking about Osage Eze Yamu, APC barely won that election with about 50,000 votes. John Pedro Abaseki, was a, 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 a leading light in Isa Yamu's campaign. As far as he was concerned in 2016, the agenda, the simple agenda of Osage Isa Yamu was more preferable, you know, to that of his brother, Godwin Obaseki. What has happened now? It is very unfortunate that we will have a situation which ought to have required humility, application of emotional intelligence on the part of a governor to reach out to a number of his party members Governize them together towards the greater task ahead, rather than sending talks all over the place. He was the one who organized talks to create a fait accompli for the police, to give the impression that there was tension and insecurity on the state. Those who organized the rally couldn't have, you know, uh, induced crisis and induced insecurity in the state. They did that, did so many things, burnt vehicles that belonged to them. So the point must be made clear. Why nobody is talking about ambody treatment? The political space cannot be closed by a governor who is seeking a second term. All what right. is democracy? Democracy is about freedom. Freedom of association. Freedom of lawful assembly. A governor seeking a second term cannot, and we cannot accept the closure of the political space so that it is only you, because you are an incumbent, that must carry out political activities. Is All it right. not funny? Yeah, Does he not amount to a fascist? Honor, honorable Osage, Osage, is, honorable Osage, we need to, we need to close now because we are out of time. Uh, well, let me give... Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, let, let me give you 20 seconds to round up now. Uh, the, the, gov uh, the national chairman said today that he did not teach the governor how to lose election because he felt that the party lost uh, uh, a lot of ground at the presidential election in 20 seconds. Oh, what do you Oshomole think? lost all the presidential elections when he was governor. It so, shouldn't be economical with the truth. We know that. Well, and I'm even wondering it, why... In 20 Osage, seconds, I what yes. do you think is the solution? The solution is simple. Oshomole should be national chairman. You should call everybody, summon them. If they don't respond, that is a different kettle of fish. I actually think that in this whole fight, while he was taking sides, he actually fretted away 
most of his political capital. And that is where All the right. problem really lies. Yeah, we need to leave it at that. I must sincerely thank you. Thank you. Mr. Yes. Don Pedro Obaseki, a former you. governorship candidate in Edo State, and Honorable Samson Osage, a former member of the House of Representatives. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on tonight. But that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Shungwa Kimalue. Enjoy the rest of your evening.